In today's show, we have a story on the new therapy dog, the internship class, and Topeka Youth Commission. I'm Madison. And I'm Kaylee. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Madison, have you heard of the internships at Mrs. Noble's class do? No, I haven't. Let's go check it out. The past few days, Mrs. Noble's internship class has presented their projects. Conlon and Lauren shared their experience. I want to be a child psychologist, but I wanted to work with kids specifically who have been through trauma, so kids who have been assaulted or abused. So the best way to get a full experience without running into HIPAA violations and things like that would to work with the SVU detectives because they work with kids that have been through that. So it was my best way to get exposure to those kids without uh, just having to sit in an office and listen to what they're telling me instead of getting to work with them hands on. I interned from about the second week of September to just the end of November. I interned at Cotton O'Neill Physical Therapy North on 46th Street. I picked what I did because I'm really into um, sports and stuff and I really like helping people and it just kind of came down to physical therapy at the end. Both seem to really enjoy it and will continue their internship after school. Um, the internship benefited me because I know now that I want to do internship and it, you know, if I didn't like it I would know before college if I liked it or not. But. Um, and also just the, um, op or the observation hours will help me in college um, through physical therapy school, so it, it really helped me out a lot. It really showed me what I actually want to do, and it definitely, I started to think I wanted to be an SVU detective maybe, and then I, it steered me away from that, and I know that I truly do want to be a child psychologist now and help these kids, so it really benefited me in knowing what I want to do and how I'm going to get there, and where I'm going to go with my life. Mrs. Noble hopes more people will apply for the internship in the spring semester and following years. I think I want to do an internship. I do too. Also, have you heard of the Topeka Youth Commission? No, I haven't. Ollie went and caught up with Eva Noble to find out more. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Eva to talk about the Topeka Youth Commission. So what is it? So the Topeka Youth Commission is basically a bunch of kids from all around Topeka that come together once a month to discuss political and community, ch community change. Awesome. So I heard they're coming to the high school. What are they doing? Yeah, so on Friday, we're actually going to present to a group of kids, anybody that's interested during CALP, it's going to be here in the Counselor's Cove. So if you're interested, you want to help change Topeka or just want to make a positive impact on your community, be sure to check it out tomorrow. Awesome. Make sure and go to that. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to join. Now, on to your daily announcements. Washburn Tech students, turn your final waivers into the office on Friday. Everyone else needs to turn them in Friday during lunch. Applications are now open for the CF scholarships. The deadline is Friday at 4 p.m. Shawnee North will be hosting a children's shopping spree on December 14th. Volunteer, uh, volunteers are needed. Call Kim Atchison if you have any questions. Join Student Council in the library on Monday from 4 to 7 for cookies, cram, and cocoa. Teachers will be available for help. If you would like to join the Writing Center next semester, see Ms. Sands in room W7 for an application. Applications will be due December 17th. Now over to Kaylee with the sports. Ethan, I mean Elias, what are you doing, man? I ain't running, running, running. What is it? Ugly sweater dance. What do I need to bring? Well... That's what ugly sweater. <laughs> the ugly sweater dance is this Friday from 9.30 to 11.30, or whenever the basketball game ends. The cost is $5 to get in. Hope to see you there. That's perfect.
And be sure to go see your Vikes at their next game. In other news, if you want to change your class schedule, be sure to go see your counselors. You'll never know which class you fall in love with. Naya Brown will sign a letter of intent to play softball at Johnson County Community College tomorrow during Calp. Congrats, Naya. Friday's game theme is Christmas sweater. Remember to have a good attitude. And that's all for sports. Now over to Madison with the weather. Here's your weather for today. Today's high is going to be 41. Tonight's low is going to be 29. Tomorrow it's supposed to be warm and rainy, and it's supposed to warm up Saturday and Sunday with a chance of rain on Saturday. Now back to your anchors. Maybe you guys miss Emma from last year. But we have a new therapy dog, Loki. We caught up with Miss Carlson to see what it's like having a therapy dog. Let's go learn more about it. <laughs> having a therapy dog means that I get to bring my dog to school, um, but it's also so much more than that. Uh, it just means that I have a dog who's been trained by um, as certified national company uh, in working with people of all ages and some of the things that Loki and I do um, include we can go to hospitals we can go to schools nursing homes and we just visit people who might benefit from having an animal and a furry friend in their life. Miss Carlson says that having a therapy dog benefits students and makes them feel more at home. I believe that having a therapy dog at school definitely benefits students. This is my second therapy dog that I've had at Siemens schools. My first one I had when I was at Logan Elementary School and um, she has since retired and is living the good life. And when we adopted Loki, I immediately realized he had the temperament and the personality to um, be a therapy dog. And so I thought how cool would that be to have one at the high school level. Um, since I had already had experience at the elementary school level. If you're having a crummy day, sometimes you can just stop by, pet a dog, see him, give him a hug, and then it makes it a little bit better. Feel free to stop by room W14 anytime to check out the therapy dog. If you want to see Loki, go visit in Mrs. Carlson's room W14. Remember, it's almost the end of the semester. Make sure to keep your grades up. Have a great day, Vikes.